Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Round 4 as we are playing with the German Empire. Last episode, we got Sweden defeated. Uh, we got the British defeated. And we're about to finish up in India. And after we're done with that, it's, it's really just the United States and Canada. Because I think Canada is now a... Yeah. You know, British Raj does have to be defeated, by the way. So it's probably, probably a really good thing that we did uh, invade into there. But yeah, Canada is now a major power as well. Seems like Canada and the British Raj always become major powers now. Uh, Australia sometimes does too. Uh, ever since 1.5, I've noticed. Um, so yeah, I think they, they changed up the uh, requirements for those. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. Um, as far as invading into the United States and Canada, like I said, we're probably going to have to, we're going to need to get control of the seas, which does mean that we need to continue building our fleet up. And then we're going to have to do some invasions into some of the islands, uh, some of the uh, allied islands that they have, uh, like the Azores, uh, which I'm a little bit surprised that, oh yes, the British got it from that national focus. Uh, so yeah, we're going to need to get control of that. And then we're also going to need to go ahead and start invading into uh, South America and the uh, Caribbean so that we can launch some invasions in the United States. And it's going to be a tough, rough fight. I absolutely hate doing it. Just getting onto it is what's so difficult, getting onto North America. Once you do, though, then it should be wrapped up pretty quickly, but it's just a pain in the ass, like, getting onto the island, um, or getting onto the, uh, continent. It's just a bitch. But what are you going to do, right? There's really not much you can do. All right, let's go and attack these guys here, because it looks like they're about to cut us off. Uh, let's go and grab this province up here so we can try and reconnect these guys. Um, and let's see if there's anything else that we can do. Let's go and grab this territory. Uh, let's see if we can't get Bombay now. There's nobody there. Uh, looks like this tank get, did get cut off, but we'll go ahead and get him reconnected here in a second. In fact, before we do, let's go ahead and grab up that uh, province right there. I did already disband all the air wings here in Britain, so you're going to notice it might be a little bit more difficult for us to win in some of these areas, but I'm not too worried about it, guys. We have so many troops here. Uh, they should be able to wrap it up. As far as invading in Northern Ireland, obviously we probably should. I think we'll probably go ahead and set up an invasion. Uh, with these troops here. Uh, we could also just drop paratroopers as well. I suppose that's an option as well. Uh, oh, I don't know which one would be the easiest one for us to do at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the next one. It's going to be a large focus on the uh, the Navy for right now. Uh, so that we can... Uh, did we lose here? We did lose here. Alright, that's a bit surprising. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and give... Alright, let's go ahead and get all these guys. Um, going in here, trying to see if a planning bonus will be... Uh, enough. Oh, shit, I fucked that up, didn't I? Damn it, I did fuck that up. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, I completely got rid of the army, didn't I? God damn it. Shit. Alright, guys, whatever, it's fine. They'll all be in this army for right now. Um, but yeah, obviously, that's not the way I wanted to do that. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, we'll have to... Did we... Yeah, we pulled them all out, didn't we? No, 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 they're right here. Alright, we still have them. Okay. Uh, this is fine right now, then. And you guys can just, uh, you know, let's go ahead and start planning uh, for an invasion uh, with the assumption that we're probably going to do one. Uh, yeah, in Northern Ireland, we'll just invade uh, from Liverpool. All right, let's go ahead and get that set up now. And we're going to invade Belfast, um, though we do need to take that island there as well. Hmm. All right, let me just, no, 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 let's redo this. I got a better idea. All right, so let's go ahead and do... Naval invasion from here, and then we'll do another naval invasion right here. Um, oh, shit. God damn it. Go there. And then we'll do another naval invasion from here to there. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and get these um, 10 assigned here. Uh, or, in fact, let's just go ahead and split them for right now. I'm going to do half and half. All right, and then once these this army finishes up down here, uh, we'll have them uh, help out in these invasions. Uh, we'll go and get our paratroopers out. And I don't know what we're going to do with them just yet. Uh, probably going to need to help in the invasions in the Caribbean. I'm sure we're going to need them. Uh, so the um, Americans still have a way into the Mediterranean. Uh, of course, they can still use the the canal there, but I'm not too worried about it, guys. I know a lot of people were like, oh, we need to hurry up and get that, that wrapped up. But honestly, I don't, I don't really care about it. I think it's fine. I'm not worried about it at all if they can get their troops, they get their ships into the Mediterranean or their troops because we'll just destroy them when they do. Uh, so I just don't care. All right, so let's go and have these guys attack this way. Try and get some of this wrapped up here. Uh, go and attack that way. And those guys are currently defending pretty effectively, I'd say. Let's go ahead and make sure that everybody here is assigned to this front. And let's go ahead and increase the front a bit as well. Uh, make sure that they come over here. And we do need to get our troops reconnected here, so we're going to go and attack there. Um, 
And hopefully we can get this wrapped up now that we have all our divisions, you know, pretty much concentrating on the same area here. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to get it get it done. Uh, let's go and attack over that way. Actually, let's attack over this way. Let's have you guys attack over here. And let's go and have those tanks wrap that up. Everybody needs to be pushing the front forward. Uh, I think we have some more air base open up, which do we? No, we don't. Not yet. We still need to take a few. We do have that one, I suppose, uh, where these tanks got cut off. Um, let's just go and grab that province there. Uh, so, the Indians still have a lot more troops than I would expect them to have. I guess a lot of these are, okay, a lot of these are Filipino. Got it. So that's the reason why they're able to still effectively fight. I was wondering, uh, where all their goddamn troops are coming from. Uh, the Philippines. Yeah, that makes sense. And they're helping out. Let's go ahead and have these guys come over here. They should have this reconnected soon. They do get Calcutta back, which is a bummer because that's a lot of victory points. Uh, but we have our army marching down there. They should have it wrapped up very soon. Let's go ahead and have these guys march down here. So yeah, we can really just concentrate on the India war now to try and just get it wrapped up because it's about fucking time, man. We got this shit done here. Alright, let's have these guys attack here, then attack there. Uh, and I noticed that that is a failure. Alright, let's just pull it back then. Let's go ahead and have them come over here and protect that airbase uh, so that we make use of it. We do have another airbase here. Let's go ahead and move our planes around a little bit uh, because I know that a lot of them are coming up from the northern areas here, which obviously is not going to be very effective. Let's have these ones come here. And, uh, yeah, we also have this airbase here, so let's go and have them come over here. Uh, and where else are we looking? Okay, so currently the situation we need to do here, let's have, have the close air support come here, provide that support from there. All these two will have to operate out of that one and come on over here. And I suppose that'll work for right now. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Okay. All right, so our planes are moving around. Um, not getting a lot of help from our allies. They're pretty much confused. I think we're like the only ones invading into India right now. Yeah, nobody else is really doing anything. They're just kind of sitting around. Uh, we're doing all the goddamn work. I mean, it's not really surprising. That's pretty much the way it always ends up going, isn't it? Uh, but still, it sucks. Um, let's go ahead and attack over that way. Grab that province up. We're going to attack those guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get some more wins across this front here. Uh, you guys need to come over here. I don't know what you're doing. I think they're concerned about supply, but I'm not concerned about supply, buddy. You got it. I believe in you. Let's go ahead and attack over that way. Uh, still have not relieved these troops yet. Let's go ahead and see if we can't make that happen. Let's go and attack into all these provinces here. Uh, and then let's have these guys come up behind them. I think that would be a good idea. We'll have them come over this way. And uh, hopefully we can get this fucking shit wrapped up soon. Uh, so we need to get these ones assigned here. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, garrisoning India just yet. That's fine. Uh, it looks like we're also bombing convoys. It looks like mostly Spanish convoys. I'm not entirely sure what they could possibly be doing around here. No idea. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here and see if we can't get this done. See if we can't get our win there, get the Americans defeated. Um, yeah, looking good overall. We also have this all getting garrisoned. Uh, they're taking care of that for us. All right, um, so let's take a look how India's going. Uh, we need to take more land, clearly. Um, looks like we lost there, unfortunately. We need more troops over here uh, on this front, apparently. Uh, let's see if we can't get the wins with what we do have. Let's have these guys march all the way down here. Same with you guys, just get this done. Come on, wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right, we're gonna have these troops march south. You guys are going all the way down to that province there. And I don't think we'll be able to get a win there. We're going to attack any damn way. Uh, we got radar too. Nice. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get the next line of radar. I'm sure we're going to need it. Uh, it'll help us out a lot in the air war against the uh, Americans. Let's go and grab that province up there. All right, so looking good here, guys. Um, slowly but surely taking provinces, taking territory. Uh, I think the problem here is that we have multiple fronts. What we need to do is just uh, stretch this one out so we don't have to worry so much about you know where our troops are are assigned. Uh, for instance, like these guys, why don't you come on over here? Let's get another division there. Alright, so they're gonna get that wrapped up. And looking good. Um, these guys are trying to take this. Of course, he's already taken that victory point there. Let's go and see if we can't grab some more victory points up with these this fast tank unit. Uh, and let's also continue having the tanks grab territory. Oops, I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know, don't ask me guys. <laughs> no idea what that was. Gonna have these tanks move over here. Uh, you guys are gonna come march down here. And we're gonna attempt to get a win right there. Okay, um, situation here is looking kind of crappy, but that's all right. Let's just cut them off. Uh, although it looks like they're going to attempt to cut us off from right there. Um, yeah, all right. What we'll have to do is attack right there, and hopefully we get there before they do. I don't know. Let's take a look. 
Yeah, we should get there before them. We do have faster units overall, so uh, should be able to get there before them. Let's go and attack over this way, see if we can't get that win there. Uh, and let's have this guy attack over here. All right, looking pretty good. Uh, looks like it is, uh, yeah, we, we split it up in a bunch of fronts again. Well, that sucks. All right, let's just have these guys keep on marching down to that territory. Uh, looks like we did fail on trying to take that victory point, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and have uh, these guys come assist. Uh, and we're going to have these guys march across the river as well. And let's have you guys attack over that way. All right, looking good. And getting it done uh, ever so slowly. It's not exactly a quick process, but... Like I said, India is kind of a bitch to fight in. Uh, did we ever get the Americans kicked out of Britain? Not yet. Wow. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, I need to come micromanage that shit because clearly yeah, we're having issues there. Um, yeah, we're looking good overall. I like the way this is has this has been going. Also sent our, our ships manually, told them to get their asses over there and repair the really badly damaged ones anyway. Uh, well, some of these did not. I did not get. So let's go ahead and assign them. Get them going over there repairing. Not too worried about them getting sunk now. I think they should be fine. Uh, and we do have a ton of troops that are done training. Looks like the majority of the troops that are in here are currently done training, so that's excellent. Let's go and take them and put them into this other army here, which we'll be managing in a little bit. Uh, not too worried about it at the moment. Uh, I think all of these guys are done. Are all the medium tanks done? Hell yeah, they are. Excellent. Let's go and put them all into there and just take the whole army. Have them sit right here uh, for right now. Okay, so that is done. And yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about managing uh, the troops just yet. Um, let's go ahead and send the better divisions, the ones that don't haven't taken so many casualties. Uh, it looks like the paratroopers are the ones in the best spot right now, as far as the organization goes. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, not too worried about um, uh, getting those uh, armies situated yet, because we're going to have to send a ton of armies into America, guys. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass. But first, we've got to get complete control of the seas, which means the entire American fleet needs to be sunk, which does mean that we're going to need to get our fleet patrolling out there, uh, which we won't be able to do that until we get it built up just a little bit more. They have 73 to 76 ships, so I want to make sure that without the uh, coastal uh, air support, that we'll still be able to defeat them. Uh, speaking of experience, uh, just seeing that, um, we need to go ahead and do something about our experience. Uh, and we also need to get some more synthetic refineries as well. Always need the goddamn synthetic refineries. We're always short. It's going to do 80% right there. Uh, any other good locations? It seems no. Well, there's a 50%. We'll get that one. Um, I guess we'll do a couple here. And do one right there. And most of these look like they're all 60% locations now. I'm probably missing one. I'm sure you're yelling at the screen right now. There's one right in front of you. Uh, and I just don't see it. All right, so we're going to build a ton of these. Let's go ahead and tick all this stuff, with the exception of, like, uh, factories and dockyards. I'm going to take all the rest of it down to the bottom. Come on. Uh, yeah, naval bases, all that kind of good shit. Infrastructure. We don't need to repair that right now. All right, excellent. Okay, any other troops done training? No, those are all going to take a while. Those are all infantry. All right, I just want to get... India finished up guys. It's about time that we finally wrapped this shit up. Let's go and attack there. These guys are cut off from supply right now. Uh, so that's awesome. Let's go and attempt to attack right here though. They're about to reconnect them. So we're gonna have to attack them there across the river. Obviously not optimum, but uh, really no other way to do that. Let's go and attack at Calcutta as well. And let's attack here too. Let's just attack all the way across the front. I think that's the best way to, to wrap this up. Let's go and have these guys attack over here and these guys go to this front. Um, you guys go over to this front. And you, you attack there. Everybody come onto a front. And let's attack right there and have these guys attack right here. Let's try and uh, decrease the size of this front a bit. And what do we have going over here? All right, so these guys, they can attack that province. And then we'll have these tanks here grab that one while these guys attack right there. Because it looks like that should be a victory. All right, so you guys are going to go just continue marching down here. And just uh, then come up. <laughs> like that. Uh, I know the infantry are going to take forever to get that done, but it's okay, guys. I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. All right, looking good here. Let's go ahead and have these guys attack over this way now. Try and get those troops there wrapped up. Let's go and attack here. So we can't get a win there. Uh, then we're going to grab this province up. And should have that wrapped up soon. Yep, there we go. All right, excellent. Uh, and everybody should be coming on over to these fronts. Help us out. Getting this territory 
um, taken. Uh, they should capitulate pretty soon, guys. Just taking a look at them. British Raj is 80% towards capitulation as of right now. Uh, we do need to get, uh, like I said, another army here, another garrison army, and I guess we'll go ahead and do that uh, right now. Yeah, let's just assign some some garrison troops. We're not going to do the, the cavalry. We'll just do... Um, I don't even know how many are going to be needed. I guess we'll see. Just do one of the, some of the ones down here at the bottom. Get like 20 for right now and see if that's going to be enough. And we can always assign more later if we need to. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new army here. And they'll be down here. And they're going to be a different color pink. Like that pink. Uh, and let's give them garrison duty uh, all throughout our territory. I guess we'll have them guard the naval bases as well as attempting to lower resistance. But yeah, all throughout our territory in India. And we'll see if we can't get any more territory as well. I don't know. We'll just have to find out. All right, so let's go ahead and have all these guys move on over here. And then what I'm going to do is have them take the railroads there. Now, uh, I think they have a direct land route. Oopsie. All right, there we go. All right, excellent. So they should all start moving over there to garrison their, their area. I'm going to also see if Afghanistan will give us any more land. Probably not. Yeah, they kind of want to keep all this land. That's fine. I understand, man. All right, so Afghanistan is going to keep all that. And we're going to have these guys wrap this up here. Uh, they did win there. Let's go ahead and have them attack there now. Oh, it looks like that's going to be a loss. All right, let's just have them uh, stay here then. Uh, we need to get more troops over here. Let's go ahead and send this guy here now. There's just not enough divisions over there at the moment. Uh, and you guys can go ahead and have... Yeah, we'll have that tank unit wrap them up. And this one attack there. All right, looking good. Let's attack like so. And these guys are going to come on over to this front as well. All right, looking pretty good. Um, now we're going to have these guys move over to this front. Uh, yeah, we just don't have enough divisions down here at the moment. All right, let's see how this is going. Let's go and attack into here, attack into here, and attack over to here. All right, and we're going to bring these tanks as well. And should get those troops wrapped up and destroyed momentarily. Uh, let's go and attack over here. Uh, need more divisions over here, guys. Um, I, mean, I am worried they're going to reconnect them here. Uh, wouldn't it be that difficult for them to do that? Um, okay, if these troops... All right, it's fine. They can't. All right, they've been overrun. Excellent. All right, so everybody should be coming on over to these fronts now. Um, let's go ahead and send... Make sure that all the divisions here are attached to this front and have them invade into there. Uh, you guys are also going to go over to this front. Uh, and then the rest of you... Oh, Lord. Let's have you guys attack here. And you guys attack here. And then everybody else should be coming down here where we clearly don't have enough divisions to get our mission done. All right, so let's attack right there. In fact, it would be far better. Oh, we already went in there. It's fine. I was going to say it was going to be far better to get that port taken. Um, but we'll get it done here momentarily. Um, in fact, it looks like we should have these guys here cut off uh, momentarily. All right, awesome. Uh, they'll try and get that port there. Let's go ahead and have them destroyed and attack right there. All right, excellent. Um, so those ones will be cut off. They're destroyed now. And things are looking good. Uh, we can go ahead and attack over here. Actually, let's get it, hurry up and get across that river. And I'm looking at it. Uh, we'll grab that province there. Have these guys attack over this way. And looking pretty good. All these troops here are wrapped up. Let's go ahead and have this division take this territory. Well, this guy comes on over here. And you guys attack them. I know they're not going to win there, but the point is just to lock them down. Uh, let's take a look if we ever defeated the American troops. It looks like we got some dark guards. So I'd assume it's from taking. Yes. Yes, we're done here. Okay. So what we're going to want to do. Let's get all the divisions here uh, and assign them. Well, let's do it. Let's assign the majority of them over to that one. Um, how many do we currently have assigned here? All right, let's do like eight onto this one here. And then whatever's left over here uh, in this army will come on over to this one. All right, that looks good. I don't know how many troops they're going to have defending in these areas. Uh, seems that we are have one extra dockyard here. Let's go and put that into the convoys then. Not that we really need convoys uh, at the moment. But the other ships cost a lot more resources, and frankly, we don't need those either. Um, yeah, we're getting quite the uh, fleet built up at the moment. Looking pretty good, guys. Um, yeah, we're doing, we're doing really good uh, naval-wise. Uh, I don't think it's going to take that long to get the rest of the American fleet destroyed. If we can, of course, engage them, that could be a problem. Getting them to, to fight us because they're cowards. Goddamn cowards. They're not going to want to fight us. You know they're not going to want it. Uh, all right, so this guy here, um, attack over there. You attack over here. I just want you guys getting this finished. 
Just hurry up and finish this up. All right, and then we're also attacking over this way. Um, you guys are gonna come up over here, and let's see if we can't grab that province up right there. And you guys are gonna come on. How, when do these guys get here? Might be able to beat them. Yep, all right, so we'll uh, beat them there. Ah, uh, we'll just attack them, that's fine. Okay, looking pretty good. Um, I guess we're gonna attack across the river. I know we don't need to, we're gonna do it anyway, just because we can. Just because we can, guys. So how long until India capitulates, man? Uh, 95%. All right, and they've lost one point. We'll look at the casualties before we end the episode here, guys. Uh, so we have some French troops here that are currently completely cut off from supply. Let's get all this territory here. Let's just attack those guys right there. Get all this wrapped up. Um, and should have this done momentarily. All right, so yeah, it uh, looks like the French troops have been destroyed here. Uh, let's go ahead and have the rest of these divisions finish this off. And then they can all pump over to here and try and finish whatever's left to get them to capitulate. Uh, I don't think it's gonna take much longer, guys. Uh, should have it done. Is there anything? Yeah, let's go ahead and have these guys attack up this way. And then attack that way. All right, um, gonna avoid attacking across rivers if we can. Just wouldn't take any unnecessary casualties. Oh yes, the army experience. I keep fucking forgetting about this shit. Uh, let's go ahead and spend it for the medium tanks. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get, I know that we need modern tanks, guys. Uh, I don't even know if we're gonna bother with it though. I don't think we're gonna even need it for the Americans, honestly. I never find myself needing to get them, if I, you know, cause the Americans, yeah, I'm just not too worried about them, honestly. Uh, so let's do threes all the way across here for our Panthers. Uh, we're gonna want to decommission the old ones and get the new ones going out there. Uh, we are short on oil, and we have a surplus of tungsten, so let's just go ahead and pull from trading with the Portuguese. Don't need their oil no more. It looks like we're not going to need Russian oil either. Uh, we must have gotten oil from... Oh, we don't need to trade at all, I don't think. All right, we're a little bit short on tungsten, but not enough worth trading. That's right, because we just conquered all of Britain, plus we have uh, the British Raj as well. So between the two of them, we're getting quite a bit of oil. Uh, let's go ahead and tick that up a bit more, because it looks like the Austrians have a bit more oil to give us. All right, how are we doing on getting troops trained up? Still not quite there yet. Um, how are we doing on these troops being done? All right, we wanna go ahead and bring the paratroopers back home, by the way. Uh, let's get them coming over here for right now. And we're just working on getting these done. They should be done soon. Yeah, 44 or 45 days. Yeah, and we'll just send them at the same time. Uh, we're gonna want to get our fleet patrolling over there, so we're gonna do that now while I'm thinking about it. Uh, we'll need to have them reassigned to another, air, another base, because uh, we're gonna have to Ah, shit. All right, whatever, it's fine. We need them to come just in this area here. All right, so you guys are gonna um, hopefully be able to take care of that. What we're gonna need to do is we need to give ourselves a little bit of air support as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, I wish I hadn't pulled all the air planes from over here, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and do, oops, my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do, let me see where the air bases are. We got 600 there, 1200 here. And a thousand here. All right, so that should be plenty enough. I'm just gonna assign like um, just large air wings. I think is what we're gonna do. Uh, let's just do like 400 fighters here. Uh, do we have fighter threes? It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna look for them. Okay, so um, oops, I meant to do 400. My bad. We'll fix that now. It's fine. Uh, air superiority here, um, and then we're gonna want to do another uh, 600 uh, fighters over here. Come on, buddy. Let's do 600 fighters. Uh, these guys are going to provide air superiority in Ireland. Uh, and then we're gonna want to do some close air support and naval bombers too. Uh, so let's do uh, 400 naval bombers. I think, I think that'll probably be enough. Uh, 400 naval bombers, where the fuck are the naval bombers? Probably went right by them. Uh, here we go. All right, so 400 naval bombers. And here, uh, and then we'll also give some close air support. I think we have threes, yeah. we will do threes here. Uh, and they will provide close air support there. And then we're also gonna assign some, some planes. What we'll do is we'll do 600 here. 600 close air support. I'm not even gonna worry about getting the threes right now. We'll just do twos, that's fine. And they will cover us in Ireland. And then we're gonna need to do like uh, a few more here. Just to cover here. 
All right, looking good. That's probably enough planes. I don't see why. Well, wait a minute. What happened to the planes? I thought I assigned fighters. Apparently, I did not. All right. Uh, I thought I assigned some fighters there, but okay. I'll have to do it again. Um, God, I thought I did it. I don't know. I guess there's a lot of... We're assigning a lot of air wings right now. That could just be mistaken. All right, so 400. Here. All right. Excellent. So, we are going get, to get rid of this territory because I just don't want to have to mess with it. I really hope the Irish don't do something stupid like join the, the Allies. Um, it makes us makes me think I'm going to have to keep troops here. And yeah, there's Americans. Yeah, there's Americans here. Yeah, we got to get them dealt with. There's no way around it. Uh, so, we'll wait till our planes get assigned there. And plus, I kind of want to get India wrapped up because um, we're like almost done. Uh, so, let's just try and get this finished. Right. Let's attack over this way. Attack over this way. So everybody, right. attack. Attack, man. Attack. Um, have this guy attack over here. And you guys come on back over here. All right, so just waiting to get all our troops here. Um, should have them soon. Uh, all these guys that are currently coming up should all be going to this front because it looks like the front did split. Uh, so let's get them all going over to the front. We actually need them in because this one's about to be finished uh, momentarily. Let's have... We'll just attack from across the river here. Or from uh, the other side of the river. Okay, looking good. Um, where are they at now? They're at 95% last time we looked. They're at 98% now. All right. Just got to wait a little bit longer. I'm getting all of our troops over here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get them cut off there. Not that we exactly need to. We're going to do it anyways. All right, so just waiting. And let's have these guys go ahead and start marching that way now. Uh, tanks are ready to launch some attacks. Let's go ahead and attack over that way. We're going to attack over here as well. We're going to try and get those troops cut off. Not that, Once again, not that we actually need to cut troops off at the moment. Uh, it's just not even a priority, a necessary priority. We're going to destroy those guys and then have you guys come over this way. Alright, looking good. Um, let's have you guys attack right there so they don't have any retreat. And we're going to go and attack here as well. Just to lock those troops down so they can't do anything crazy. Okay, let's have more divisions attack over here. Try and get this wrapped up. Actually, no, no, no. Pull that back. I don't want them destroyed just yet. Not until we grab that province up. And you guys are going to come over here. And I don't know why they're so convinced they have to march back here. Um, yeah, you guys don't need to do that. Just come on down here. All right. Um, so we do have more unassigned divisions. They're constantly giving us more divisions. <laughs> Way more divisions than we could ever possibly need. Um, but, you know, we're using them for garrisons, so that is helpful. Uh, so at least we don't have to worry about building cavalry troops any longer. Uh, Finland's looking mighty. Look at that. Quite sexy indeed. Uh, the Yellow Army, we're going to pull them back now. Uh, bring them back into Europe. Oops. My bad. Come back to, uh, to Germany, my friends. Come back home. You did a great job. Uh, not that Sweden was exactly a particularly challenging <laughs> uh, uh, battle, but they did a good job anyway. I'm proud of them. All right, so those guys are now wrapped up. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't capitulated yet. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed how much longer. There we go. It takes for countries to capit capitulate ever since they, they moved to the stability and war support system uh, and moved away from the national unity. Uh, it takes a lot longer from what I've noticed. So we do have to get them destroyed. And... Then I believe we're done in India. They're the only, yeah, they're the only troops. All right, so we also have some some military factories to get assigned. Let's just take a look at what we need the most because it's been a little while since I looked at this. Um, yeah, we were really bad on medium tanks, but we kind of built that up. Uh, I guess we can build more transport planes. Why not? I, I don't see any reason not to because we're kind of building them. Oh, we're building 15. Never mind. Uh, we have 15 going towards them. They're just fucking taking forever. Okay, <laughs> so. Yeah, there's just nothing that we really need. I mean, I guess we can work on getting medium tanks upgraded. I, yeah, I don't know what else we'd do with them. Uh, oil, let's trade for some from Iran and some from Iraq. Just like so. There we go. That should be plenty enough oil. Uh, I know that we're still in the negatives, but remember we're building some uh, refineries as well. So what do we have available here on decisions? Decisions available. Reopen the hump. Okay. Uh, where is that one? Reopen the hump. This is in support China. Um, so, uh, reopen airlift in this state, um, and this will gain one military, one access, they will gain access to one free military factory. Okay. Sure. Whatever, we'll do that. Trying to help China. Um, although China's not really an enemy, they're not really an ally either. Neither, you know, obviously, I don't really give a shit. 
uh, about the war over here. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted Japan to get involved against the Americans, and they didn't uh, so far, anyways. Uh, it would have been really nice to have a bit of assistance, especially with the American Navy, but that didn't happen. So, all right, so 73 to 76 ships over there. Uh, that's how many they have remaining. We did finish up here. Let's go ahead and um, hmm. Seems that we lost an army. How the fuck did that happen? Huh. Uh, division, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know how we lost a division. Okay, well, whatever. Um, what I think we're going to do is we're just going to keep this army uh, in in Asia, just in case anything else happens. It's so far away. Like, if anybody else joined or... Oh, well, I guess what we could do is invade into France. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's invade into Indochina here. Uh, French Indochina. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we'll take, take control of the rubber here. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, we could also do naval invasions into this area here. I don't really, I don't really care about Asia all that much, but you know, taking taking control of their rubber and their oil and stuff would be pretty fucking useful, and we wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, it's obviously been a key problem for us. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and launch the invasions here, and we just got nuclear bombs. Awesome, that is fantastic news. Uh, so let's go ahead. How how many? Uh, okay, we're not building them just yet. Uh, we'll have to take a look here in a second. Let's go ahead and get the advanced oil processing. I think it's about fucking time we got this shit. It's just taking us forever to, to get the oil situation fixed. Uh, so we're going to do that. And I think we're also going to go ahead and launch the two invasions here. I feel like they're ready. We should have the planes over there. Uh, apparently something's not right. Let me just take a look here. It's fitting. Okay, we don't have naval superiority over there. Why? What is going on with the uh, the fleet? Where's the fucking fleet? Oh, where'd they disappear to? Oh, they're right here. They're confused. Okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, they're just fucking confused right now. I'll just fix them. All right, so that should should get them moving. I don't know. They seem kind of broken right now. Oh, come on, man. All right, so let's gonna move it over there manually. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and have these guys go back home real quick. Oh, where the hell they go? Let's have them go back home and merge with the fleet that's here. Because I think everybody's repaired. I think these are ships that we recently built. Yeah, it's a battle cruiser. Okay, so that's good. Um, I wonder how long it would take to get these guys trained up here. Or to get them uh, finished repairing. Like, let's just let all these ships repair. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's like a week or two. Uh, we'll let all our ships repair. Uh, we do now have the, the nuclear bombs uh, building up as well. Uh, and there are some, some ships here that are currently uh, floating around. Uh, we're getting sunk. Okay. Alright, they can send their ships over here. I don't give a shit. We'll sink them if that's what they desire. Uh, so we'll have nukes to use against the Americans, which will be uh, super helpful, especially for those naval invasions. Uh, so we'll have to make sure we get an air base that we can launch strategic bombers from. Uh, and let me take a look at the uh, front over here. I think we're just going to go ahead and let the AI control the shit. Uh, there's nobody even here opposing us. I don't think the French even have any divisions, honestly. I know the British don't. Uh, the British don't have any divisions. French have divisions. They have 9 to 19 divisions uh, as of right now. And William II dies. So everybody was wondering when he would die. And he did. He finally died. I want to take a look at the, the Brits real quick. They have 4 to 5 divisions. So yeah, William II finally died. Last night, William II, our beloved Kaiser, passed away peacefully in his sleep. Despite his long exile, Providence had been seen fit to allow his return to the fatherland well before his death. And ever since his return, he has led our nation well. His son, Friedrich Wilhelm, has now taken up the reins of the nation, and after his coronation, will become known as William III. All right, so we're going to lose the uh, bonuses that we got from uh, William II, which were... Um, some this is mainly just for democracy but we got the plus 10 percent stability and all this stuff here was cheaper which we've already bought all this stuff here uh so there's no reason to uh to need that that bonus anymore um and this is going to give us a five percent stability so we actually do lose a little bit of stability by going to william III. okay well, that's a shame there he is william the third so uh our beloved kaiser has passed away uh he lived a long time uh he lived a little bit past his historical time uh it seems that these guys are oh yeah that's right they're training uh let's go and put them into this army here looks like supply is actually exhausted in this region um so what we're going to want to do is let's just move them somewhere else i'm surprised that supply is in such a garbage position um but let's go ahead and move the entire army here into a new location where they won't be uh pulling so much supply yeah 
All right, so let's just move them into, you know what, we can just move them here. I think that's a new supply region. Oh, no, that's not far enough. All right, let's do here then. Okay, so we're gonna go and end the episode here, guys. Um, got some stuff done. I, I wish we had done that invasion. We had finished that, but you know what? We're gonna go and get the ships here repaired. I think that makes sense. Uh, and we did finish up a four. Nice, I think we actually want to, yeah, we're gonna wanna merge these and then get rid of one of the uh, the threes. Uh, probably the shittiest one, which would be the Aurora. The Aurora, however you pronounce that. Um, carrier, carrier, carrier. Here we go, where the hell is it? There it is, all right. So we're gonna get him moving over here for when we start building our new fleet. Of course, we've gotta get this fleet finished up uh, and we are not quite there. We still need to get uh, a few more ships. Uh, I'd like to get a few more ships in here. Um, I mean, it's, it's almost there. Yeah, it's just about there. Uh, maybe just one or two more uh, ships and then we'll consider them finished. And uh, then we'll, we'll probably pull that heavy cruiser act uh, out actually. You know, we'll do that now. He's a really low level heavy cruiser. He's just gonna get damaged a lot. Uh, so let's just move him out and he can come on over here. In fact, I might even move some of those destroyers out too because a lot of those are low level destroyers because remember we're not building destroyers either. So that's gonna affect the entire operational ability of the, you know what? Yeah, let's go and pull all the damn destroyers out here and let's move them into this fleet as well. Uh, and I know this is gonna make the, the, the size of this fleet here a lot smaller. Uh, but overall, I think it'll be more effective because they don't have those slower ships pulling them back. They also, they don't have as much range either. So yeah, I think it makes more sense uh, to to do that, pull all those old ships out, uh, the ones that we're not currently building. And yeah, uh, so our troops here are invading into French Indochina, so they should grab up all those lovely resources, those juicy resources here. Um, maybe we can do some naval invasions here, but we don't really have a fleet to send over there, so I don't know how exactly we would go about doing that at the moment. Uh, I really want to concentrate on getting the Americans defeated here in the Atlantic so that we can go ahead and start invading these islands and get a base to invade the Americans from as well as to drop some nuclear bombs on them as well. So yeah, we're done in, in Europe pretty much other than Northern Ireland. We need to get that wrapped up. But other than that, we're, we're done here. I don't see us fighting anybody else uh, at the moment. And we're not going in Africa either. I'm just gonna let, if my allies wanna fight there, they can fight there. I don't really care what they do. Uh, it's I, I just don't, uh, I don't care enough. Uh, it looks like the Italians are trying to take Cyprus. Yeah, we'll just let the the Italians operate out of here. It looks like they already took Malta. Uh, yeah, whatever they want to do, the Italians can do it. Uh, I don't care. Hopefully, they'll they'll get control of it. Um, we'll just have to see. Obviously, Spain still has this territory here. I'm just gonna let the uh, our allies deal with uh, Africa while I focus on the real war, uh, where it actually matters. We're going to add these guys into this army here. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. You're gonna might need to hit that notification bell as well. Make sure you leave a comment. I love talking to you guys. I read and reply to all comments. Uh, and then please share the video as well. Uh, I don't ever say this enough, um, but yeah, the, our views for our, our videos for our channel uh, directly correlate to the amount of shares. Uh, so if uh, we get more shares, then we get more views. So if you are enjoying what we're doing here, then make sure you, uh, yeah, share us with all your friends uh, so that uh, we can continue to grow the channel. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and end it here. I'll see you on the next one when we start getting ready for the invasion of the United States. And thanks for watching.